Good morning from Hawford Top Lock. Second lock, possibly. This is called the Top Lock. There's two of them. Is this Hawford yeah. Top Lock? Okay. Yeah, there's a top lock and a bottom lock, and there's no middle lock. <laughs> well, that's sensible. George has already been for a swim this morning, courtesy of his father. Oh, no, he's doing a poo. Of course he is. We've already walked and opened up the lock over there, and uh, we are prepared to go. Got two locks to go down, Horford Top Lock and Horford Bottom Lock, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we're on to the Southern. Where we have to do a hard right-hand turn and begin our travels up to Holt, is it Holt Lock? Yeah. Holt Lock. We're booked in there at 9.30, at 10.30. Oh good, thanks for the panic. <laughs> it's only a momentary I'm panic. 9.30, we're not going to make it! 10.30, okay we can make it. It's, um, it says an hour and a half to get there, we're allowing about two hours, so we should be fine. Yeah. Hopefully, we're just waiting on the pontoon when they drive up and open up for us. And then we will have... Hopefully, they've got it open when we drive up. Well... That's what happened all the way down. That means we're going slower than we should be. Yeah, but we're going upstream. And when we came from wherever we came upstream before, we were really slow, apparently. Yeah, well, that's why I want to I want to get there. I want to get there and find out that we're early, because that means that I'll... That, I'll, that I've gotten the speed right. Oh, okay. Right. Well, I'm looking forward to getting back on the whatever canal we were on, Staffordshire and Worcestershire, or Worcestershire and Staffordshire. Mm -hmm. No. Staffs yes. and Worc Yeah. Because, um, like, we've been... Like, this life isn't stressful, but it is stressful. <laughs> we've been moving so much since Christmas, and I just want to... Have the opportunity to slow down a little yeah, bit. Yeah, and not have... And not because... We don't have deadlines, basically. We've had deadlines. Yeah, and we got slowed down on here because of an arbitrary deadline that didn't, yeah, you know, get announced to us. So we sort of... And then we had to move because of the awful mooring, so... Yeah, so so the few days we needed to work, we haven't been able to actually have. And then, yeah, we moved... To, oh, that's pretty. And then we're moving today because we can't move tomorrow or the next day, so it's just like we haven't had any choice of what we've been doing. So, yeah. And then we've got about a month to get up to the Wolverhampton flight before that closes mid-Feb so that's yeah. the only deadline we've got. So from, once we get up to Sourport we're done with the pre-bookings for a while we've got a decent amount of time that if we just sort of if we just wake up and think let's move for two hours today and then stop we can do that for as many. Yeah so then it, it, it just drops the amount of. God we sound moaning. <laughs> well yeah it's not moaning it's just it's just it drops the amount of added of pressure time pressure yeah. that you really don't want to have when you're on the canals because it's like you you know wasn't expecting that so coming down this was a three hour trip but we're going upstream so it'll probably be a bit longer and i think it did take a little bit longer last time i can't even remember it should take about an hour longer okay so we're leaving at eight so hopefully we'll be there by midday ish that'd ish. be really nice yeah but in order to get there we've got to get moving to that lock got to the lock quite early and they've just opened it up but the light's still on red so we're waiting for it to go green and then we can push off and go through the lock.
we go. It's the end of the navigation. Over there is Gladder Brook, which is the limit of as far as I can go on the Severn, which is, I believe, England's longest river. Um, and it used to be navigable quite a bit further, all the way up into Wales, but uh, the trade has long ended and now this is as far as you can go unless you're in a very shallow boat and then you can go up to a place called Budley. Um, you're not nearly that shallow. So that's the end of the Severn from Sharpness up to here. Now I just need to be allowed to go out under the estuary at some point. But we'll see. In Stourport. Yes, there's a little just over my thumb. <laughs> it's actually quite surprising that we're recording before Michael goes to the little. I'm not really sure how that happened. It's quite a day. Two locks on the Droitwich, two big river locks, two staircase locks, me going up to the actual end of the Severn, the longest river in the UK, and, um, and one time navigable all the way up to Wales. We got to Holt Lock, which is the first lock on the Severn, about 50 minutes before our slot so we just sat there and he turned up about 10 minutes early so or maybe 15 minutes early so we got through there earlier than we thought and then he warned me that he because he's the only person running the locks right now um so he had to actually go back down to worcester to open the lock there before coming back up to open up the next lock for us. So he, so said he was like, you might have to wait a while. Yeah, like if that boat hadn't been on time or if he'd been stuck in traffic, I guess we'd have had to wait. But we arrived just as the gates were opening. Did you notice? Yeah, yeah. it was basically perfect. So, and then the second lock was fine, although George doesn't enjoy them. So, because we tie onto the risers, Michael ties onto the back riser and I tie onto the front. I have to juggle it with George being on the front as well. And he's such a pain <laughs> because he's doesn't really like it in locks because of the noise and in the second lock he's literally in my lap so I'm holding onto the rope and holding onto a dog he's like I don't like it yeah. so poor thing yeah it was not fun but we made it yeah it's just a long way isn't it yeah other than that the only adventure was the funny maneuver I did to get into the yeah so Michael dropped me off we got back to Stout Port. I keep wanting to call it Stourbridge. We got back to Stourport and um, Michael dropped me off with George. So we got the locks ready and then Michael went up to the end of the navigable navigation. Where there's this big sign that says end of navigation. <laughs> so it's I, pretty easy to recognize. When you went I was like don't go too far. Be careful. Yeah <laughs> and I was reading about it. it is, I mean it, basically it used to be navigable like literally all the way into Wales, wow. you know, and and there was shipping that went up this route. This was the main sort of course of shipping up that way. And then it was allowed to just go and silt up the way that it does. I guess with people stopped using it. Yeah. So, so now you can technically navigate as far as Budesley or Budesley, um, about a little bit under half a mile below the bridge there. There's a, a shoal that just stops mm. movement from that point up. It's far too shallow for anything to move but to make it that far your boat can only draw 1.2 feet i think of of draft so basically <laughs> we weren't doing that <laughs> so um so yeah I, I spun around came back 
and then um, essentially just did sort of a turn and then drifted side well not drifted yeah I drifted I drifted, did a Tokyo drift drifted sideways for a good couple of hundred feet and I looked out because I was looking for Michael expecting to see the front of the boat I'm just seeing him coming along sideways <laughs> I was like you turned too early yeah, I, I thought he thought the turn was like 100 foot up yeah. than where I was standing at the lock. I, I had a myth into my madness. I wanted to be in the right angle so that when the current pushed me along, it would push me and it did. essentially straight to a point where I could just go straight you in. You were at the right angle, pretty much. Yeah. I was at the right angle. I was a little too close. Yeah, your nose was a bit too close to this bank. So I and had to then, do sort of a last second massive backup. And, and then I said he was clear, meaning you're now not in danger of hitting the bank, but he took that to be like you're clear and ready to go forward so you start going forward and I'm like no that's not what I meant sorry yeah. so there was not the best communication but going I needed on. to be moving I needed to have forward velocity or I was going to slam into the wall to the, my right the other so, side yeah, so. yeah. interesting yeah. ultimately I, I threaded a seven foot wide boat into an eight foot wide hole and then those nothing you know those staircase looks just took longer than I wanted and then yeah and then and then here's that would have been the stupid maneuver right that was the place where I could have like really bashed the boat and everything but no it was going between staircase lock the bottom staircase lock and the top staircase because yeah lock. you have these two staircases in these two basins next to each other offset why at a funny angle why would you design them like that I mean there must be a reason but you can't just drive from one to the other you have to drive what out move across and then forward so we did the second staircase which did take a while they're quite deep Oh yeah. And then it's, I don't know, there's four basins there, or five basins, or ten basins, there's a lot of basins. I don't know how many you have to navigate through, but we found the um, our way back to the services point, so we did some recycling, some rubbish. And then yeah, we're back on these moorings. That we, like, part of me is happy to be back here because, like I said this morning, like we just want a couple of days where we don't have to be anywhere or do anything, we just can concentrate on practical work and stuff but now I'm like oh, I want to go somewhere new I've been here before <laughs> so we need to get above the junction with the Stour Bridge Canal to get to the next new mm. stuff yeah but we're in no rush to do that no we need a few days we we are devoid of clean laundry I'm gonna go to Little and stock up on chocolate croissants to power me through the evening's laundry yeah and then a few couple days probably two to three days we'll have itchy feet and we'll be like <laughs> yeah well, it's time to go again. I wouldn't mind stopping in, I've forgotten the name, that K place. That was nice. That was really nice there. Kinver. Kinver. It was a really good day. I think I said this morning it was a three hour cruise, so it might take four. Well, it took about six. <laughs> yeah, it's been a, <laughs> But really an hour of that was sitting at that lock waiting. And then Michael did a little extra bit. Yeah. But, you know, it's been a good day. Really good. So thanks for watching. Thumbs up. Make a comment down in the section below if you feel like it uh, definitely subscribe and hit the bell if you'd like notifications because we're leaving more than an hour and a half early it's very complicated <clears throat> but we're looking forward it's to not it's math <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> me don't George don't you go anywhere and uh, he's going somewhere and now just up to Beardsley, not even as far as Beardsley. So we um we got to the halt the first he's distracting me so much. George Who's your friend? Say hello to your friend, George. George, did you just growl? Oh no, he growled. Okay. George, you come back and yeah, come home. It'll be safe on the boat. Come on, George. Come here, George. Yeah. Good boy, now you're safe. Now you're safe. Anyway, so... Right. So... Yeah, really good day, but... Well, I think I said it's a three-hour... Up to that part of the camera. I think I said... So thanks for watching. Like the bell, click the comment, subscribe to Doobly Two thing. I'm, I'm distracted. There's a dog. There's always... Every time there's dogs. And what about it's when... the dogs. What about when there's not dogs? So, thanks for watching. Like, if you do. Uh, comment if you want to. Um, you know... Okay, let me try to get it. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up. Nope, she's no, she's following me up here. She's totally her fault. So thanks for watching. Hit the get low power mode just threw me off. That, that's it's everybody's fault. Okay.
First time is a charm. Oh, it wasn't recording. Are you?